Hello guys and welcome to my second video tutorial on the PHP series and um, before we do some code um, on PHP we have to download uh, a package called XAMPP okay, which has um, Apache server, a MySQL database and uh, the PHP version 5.3.5 okay, all in one and we will need a server and also MySQL database throughout the course and so let's download that and open the browser and type XAMPP and you have here the Apache friends XAMPP click that and you have different versions of XAMPP for Linux, for Windows, for Mac OS X, Solaris, and we are going to download the Windows version. Okay, this is the complete package. Apache server, MySQL database, PHP 5.3.5, the last version of PHP, uh, PHP my admin, FileZilla FTP server, Tomcat. So this is where, this is what you have to download. Zamp here, the installer. Okay, so click here the installer, and you should have, um, you should download a file, uh, installer file. Okay, like this one that I already uh, downloaded. Okay, you should see a file like this. Click it. Okay, and uh, install that. I already installed my Zamp. Okay, and then you should have. Um, a shortcut like this okay so click it and you should see a control panel like this one here and click start Apache server okay and MySQL database so every time we start um, a video tutorial you have to run Apache server and MySQL okay remember that so now um, Remember what I'm going to t tell you now because this is very, very important uh, to run the PHP code. So every file you save uh, uh, of PHP, you have to save it inside uh, XAMPP directory and then htdocs directory. Okay, this is very important. Every single file you do, you have to save it here. Okay. Um, so I'm going to show you how to save our first file or how to uh, do our first um, PHP file. So let's open Notepad++. Okay. And now to start, every time we start um, a PHP file, we have to type uh, PHP tags which are these uh, these ones okay uh, this is how we define where the PHP code uh, goes okay so this is the symbol less than that you already know a next um, a question mark and then type PHP okay and to close it you type the question mark again and um, the bigger than okay between those marks we can type uh, all our PHP code so we're gonna type a single syntax which is echo we're gonna output something to the web page echo hello world okay uh, let's save this and save as and remember where I told you you should save all your PHP files that's it in your HT, htdocs directory inside the XAMPP directory so let's go to XAMPP and htdocs and now let's save this file as test.php as you'd imagine every File, every PHP file has to have the extension .php, okay? So let's save that. And now, Notepad, you see the fonts 
uh, colors changed and that's because Notepad recognizes now this as a PHP code and echo uh, hello world we use echo to output a string to uh, the web page okay um, as we did in JavaScript remember to do to output something in JavaScript we did document dot write okay uh, but in PHP that doesn't work okay to output something we have to type echo and then a string between uh, double quotes okay which is hello world you can type whatever you, you want now if you want to type anything else and then don't forget to end the string with semicolon okay uh, so remember in my JavaScript tutorials or in the HTML tutorials we could run the code directly here we did run and then uh, run in Chrome for example okay and then the code would run but in this case that doesn't work okay we we have to go uh, manually to um, the browser okay and in the browser let's go to the browser again okay in the browser here in the URL we have to type HTTP slash slash localhost okay localhost means your um, uh, local server okay and uh, now we have a local server right the Apache server that um, the, the XAMPP package has and we have a local server running um, and localhost basically goes directly to that server and uh, in that server we have the XAMPP directory and inside the XAMPP directory we have the famous htdocs directory with all our PHP files saved so basically what I'm saying here is localhost we are now inside the htdocs directory and now we have to type after this slash here we type the name of the document or the PHP file that we want to run so I want to run um, this file here test.php okay so we type test.php we click enter and now we have the result of the code okay the output hello world okay so this is how uh, we run a PHP file or the PHP code we have to type manually localhost slash and the name of the file where the code is okay to run it so basically that's it for this video you know now how install an Apache server in your computer and MySQL database that we are going to use uh, later on in the um, in this course um, and also how to output something in your web page a simple output as uh, using echo okay so uh, see you guys in the next video and don't forget subscribe to my onclick uh, tutorials channel bye